All right, so today we're gonna make some breaded shrimp scampi. Turn all these ingredients right here into a nice, uh, beautiful recipe. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some shallots, chop them up. We're gonna get them started in the pan with a little bit of olive oil. You wanna start them on medium heat. Uh, if you start them on high, they're gonna burn. So we're gonna get this chopped up. We're gonna, it's already chopped up. We're gonna put it in the pan here uh, with a bit of olive oil and we're gonna get it going. All right, so we've got our shallots up to heat. <clears throat> Started it out about six. Um, we're gonna crank the heat up here in a little bit. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some garlic, that is minced garlic. <clears throat> so we're gonna add that here in a second. Uh, we're gonna give these another minute or two to cook just so they get slightly brown. Uh, you start smelling onion in the whole house. That's, uh, that's the indication of when you gotta add the gar garlic crank up the heat, and then uh, move on to the next step. All right, so this is what we want right here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, start seeing little brown chunks. That's when you know it is time to add the garlic. So we're gonna go ahead and add the garlic, and then we're gonna kick the heat up to uh, high, and then we're gonna be ready to move to our next step. We're only gonna cook it about two minutes, uh, just enough so that the garlic starts to disintegrate a little bit. All right, when you're doing this, you want to be particularly mindful to get a nice good mix between the garlic and the shallots. Add a bit more olive oil if you need. Oh, it smells super amazing right now. So we're just going to let this cook here for about two minutes till the garlic gets super fragrant. All right, so we're there. Garlic has almost disintegrated. We've got the shallots still cooking a little bit. And now we're gonna add some sweet ter uh, cherry tomatoes. There's about seven of them chopped up. And we're just gonna let this cook for a few minutes. Make sure to get the garlic and the shallots nice and mixed in there. And then, once this is a bit more cooked, we're going to add a bit of white wine. So, we'll be back in one minute. Alright, so, here's where we're at. We've got the tomatoes coming along nicely. The garlic has all but disintegrated. The shallots are cooking. And right now, we're going to add a bit of white wine. This is uh, nothing special. Cheap Food Lion brand white wine. So you want to be careful not to add too much of this. This is called deglazing the pan. And we're just going to add a little bit. Just a little bit. If you add too much, it gets very bitter. <clears throat> now the next thing we're going to add, some chicken broth. You can also use vegetable broth, uh, beef broth, any type of broth that you like. I use low sodium. Um, but feel free to use the, uh, the high sodium stuff as well. It makes no difference in uh, how it's going to cook. So we're going to add some broth. And then we're going to turn this down to a simmer. We're going to cover it and we are going to let this cook. And this is going to form the basis of our sauce. Alright, so we've got our sauce down on a simmer. I have the noodles in, that's for later. Uh, now we're going to do some prep work with the shrimp. Um, you'll notice that these are tail on. I always remove the tail. If you are the type of person to serve shrimp with the tail on in pasta, uh, you're a terrible chef. Um, you're just making more work for the people you know, they're going to get a fork full of pasta and then have to reach down with their hand to get the tail of the shrimp to then get a mouthful of shrimp. So, always take the tail off. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put some salt on these, salt and pepper, um, but salt mainly because it's going to absorb some water and it's going to make them not so mushy. And uh, that way when we put them in our seasoning, um, the seasoning will stick to the skin a bit better. 
All right, so here we go. We're all salted, all the tails are off. Put a little pepper right on the body. Now we are gonna bread these. Now my trick for breading is I just take two shopping bags, Food Lion shopping bags, put the breading inside and we're gonna put all the shrimp inside and then go ahead and uh, toss it around for a minute. Inside this bag I've got salt, pepper, Old Bay, and then this is panko. You could use any type of Italian seasoning or anything, but that's panko. So any type of Italian seasoning or breading you could use. So we're going to take all these, we're going to go in with the bag, and we're just going to shake it around for a minute. All right, so this is what you want right here. Each little piece nice and breaded. And we are going to go ahead and just put a pan on with some olive oil. We're going to get all the shrimp in there. And we're just going to give them a nice uh, quick little cook, probably about two minutes on each side. Uh, you want to make sure not to burn them. Uh, if you cook them too long, you will burn them. All right, so here we go. Shrimp are in. That's what you want to hear. Nice sizzle, sizzle. That's how you know they're cooking and how you know the oil is hot enough. We're going to cook them about one minute and then we're going to flip them on the other side, cook them a minute, and then they're going to be good and done. All right, so get a fork or a pair of tongs. This is what you want. Nice breaded outside. And when you see that, we're just going to flip all of them and let them cook another a minute on the other side so that way they're all the way cooked and this is what we want here nice beautiful golden crispy brown on top this is gonna make the most scrumptious shrimp you've ever eaten and uh, now if you haven't already it would be a good time to start the noodles I cooked them earlier just to kind of save time um, but once to flip the shrimp the first time usually about time to put the pasta on so that's just angel hair. You can use thin spaghetti, you could use fettuccine, you could use uh, really any noodle you want. I like thin noodles um, just because it gives them a chance to kind of soak up the taste a little bit. Now if there's one thing that can take this above and beyond, it's a little bit of lemon zest. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this grater, we're going to take the lemon, and we're just going to grate it right over these shrimp as they're cooking. We're also going to finish the dish with a bit of lemon zest at the end. All right, so here we go, lemon zest. I just kind of went around the outside edge and made sure I got a little bit of lemon zest on every shrimp. These are done cooking. What we're going to do is we're going to take them out. As with any meat, we're going to let it sit for a few minutes right here on the, uh, the cutting board, and then we're going to be ready to move to the next step. All right, so here we go. We're going to just let them sit out here for a minute. I'll usually at this point take a bit more lemon zest, put it right on top of it, and then, like I said, we're going to finish the dish with a bit of lemon zest as well. Uh, our sauce is coming along wonderfully. So, when you see this start to reduce a little, that's when you know it's time to add the next ingredient, which is fresh chopped basil. So, I'm just going to take that, go right in with it, mix it around a bit so that we can get a nice mix. Nice basil-y flavor throughout the entire sauce here. And then we're going to cover it again. We're going to let it cook for another minute or so. And then we're going to add another ingredient that's going to take this over the top. And that's going to be some capers. Alright, so here we go. We've got the lemon zest all added. Lemon, if you didn't know, it really kind of uh, brings out the taste of seafood, just fish in general. So uh, you're really kind of going to get a full body taste out of these shrimp. So our sauce is almost ready. When you see, when you see that it is reduced down to, I mean, all the liquid being gone and uh, you just got a little bit left, uh, that's when it's time to add the capers. And then we're also going to add, there's the capers right there, we're going to add some fresh cut parsley. Uh, this is the second thing that we're going to finish the dish out with. But add a little bit of this. We're going to add a nice little handful of capers. You can just sprinkle them around in there. Going to add a nice kind of contrary little salty taste to it. 
And we're going to give it a stir. We're going to cook it another minute or so. And then we're going to be ready to add it to the noodles. All right, so our sauce is done. We're going to go ahead and add some noodles. And we're just going to come straight from the pan right in here. Gonna toss them around a little bit. Make sure the noodles get completely coated in this, this wonderful sauce that we have here. So we're going to do that. We're going to let it cook and we'll be right back uh, for the finishing touches. All right, so once we got the noodles and the sauce mixed, we're going to come back to our fresh cut parsley and we're just going to garnish it right on top. We're going to give it a few mixes, let it sit for about a minute. We got it on medium heat right now. Uh, just to dissipate a little bit of the water and uh, let it cook, but we're going to give it a mix. Fresh parsley is really going to amp up the taste a bit. Alright, so here we go. We've got our sauce mixed in with our pasta. We've got our baked shrimp right on top. The last thing to finish this dish out is we're going to take a little bit more lemon zest and we're just going to grate it right over the top. So there you go, baked shrimp scampi. If you guys have any questions, let me know.